Welcome to Reengineering, the dumbest automobile channel on all of YouTube. Uh, here you are finding me with the exact same car I had a couple of months back. Let's get into it. So welcome back and this is the uh, collection, this is the collection part uh, in the last couple of episodes of my 2018 Pro very excited I was too about collecting my first ever 911. However, it wasn't to be for very long. And then I sold it again and that sale went through about 16 to 1700 miles later and a couple of months. So now I'm bringing you back up to date with the collection of my 981 Porsche Cayman. So obviously before I bought the Cayman, yeah. I was just, you know, oh, came and boxed, came and boxed, came and boxed, yeah, yeah. and then yours came up with that the spec and the seats. I thought, oh, I can't say no to that. Then as soon as no, I got no, it, no. literally as soon as I got it, I was like, do you know what? It's not the one. I should have got a boxster. It's not the one. Oh, man. Also, I was kind of cursed because um, I think about five days after I had it, I had to do some heavy lifting. Sort of, kind of took me by surprise. Yeah, yeah. And so I hurt my back. Oh, so literally for weeks, the first three or four weeks I had the car, my back was hurting. I took it for a drive, took it for an hour's drive. Yeah, yeah. Round about Woking and all these sorts of B roads. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't walk after it. Oh me, that sucks. So literally the whole time I had it was kind of cursed and then the place where I gave this for a service had this sorry where I gave well, it came in for a service. service had yeah. this sitting there. Right, okay. And it just you know, the paint book is rubbish, uh, the service history book was lost. Of this? Yeah, so all these kind of it. So it's like, but you know, I've got two cars with issues with service history books, right? And, um, but after a bit of research, I found out it's pretty much got full service history, full, full, full service history. That happens quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know why people do it. I, I was looking for a runaround and the same thing happened. It, no service history, service history. Some people just don't care about them. No, they don't, they don't, they don't. So, and so then, this has, what, sort of mixed? dealer and aftermarket? Well, or? basically there was five years where nothing happened. Okay. So the last four or five years a guy's hardly driven him. Yeah. Because um, he's been living in Bristol with cars here in London. Yeah. And then he's given it in saying, right, well, I want to sell it. So yeah, that was that. Fingers crossed. I mean, there's the old rattle and things like that. And there's the... Uh, what year is it? 2010? Something like that. 2009. 2009, yeah. It's okay. the very last of the 987.1. Right. This is end of January 2009. Okay. And then I've seen February 2009, 987.2s. Okay, right. But then the difference between, the difference from a month is five or six thousand pounds. Oh, I mean, it's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? So just to show you, this, this is um, Charles Ivan. So have you ever heard of Cooper, like Mini Coopers? Yes. So yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. was the Cooper Works factory. Ah, uh, oh, right, wow, so, cool. So, so this was the original Cooper Works factory when they did it. And, um, so look at the whole thing full of Porsches. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this, these are the guys that serviced. So they serviced the Cayman. My Cayman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. The thing is, they had two. Um, they had two branches here in Fulham. Okay. For 20, 30 years, they condensed it all into this branch now. Yeah, yeah. Um, because um, just to be, just to be actually, just to clarify, right? That my car has been over serviced yeah. is that is it's made yeah, exactly. it's normal service schedule exactly. right? and all the changes in between and there's a letter from the <coughs> garage yeah yeah saying we're sorry about the service history yeah yeah right? so it's not an issue but i just thought they maybe, just kicked off about it maybe just didn't, didn't change his mind oh, well, they might. Um, to be fair maybe, I, was gonna, I was gonna spend a fair few on top yeah to get a boxer from them that's what right. i took in it wasn't just a sell well it's, the, yeah. it, it's their loss my gain because yeah. like you know if i'd have not got out of the 911 and tried to go and get my car back yeah. and I'd missed it by a month or a week or something I just right. oh mate I'd be absolutely devastated yeah so, no I do get that do you know it'd be, be interesting because the ultimate the, the plan next year would be to get a 981 Boxster Boxster yes okay. um, well, I'll been, keep an eye out if I see yeah. one that's like a the perfect spec I'll give it a shame the, the thing about this is the interior is really dated yes and you, and, you, and you put a, a car uh, frame, yeah, yeah, a car frame, which is so, makes so that, a that was good because that was dead simple on this car, whereas on the Cayman, it'll just be really complicated. So my plan is to, I'm going to order when I get home the um, 
and then automotive or joy auto, joy auto this is module what, and then this is what what I was wondering it because on the website if you look at the headline page on his website and it says he does it for the CDR system yeah but then we actually go to the website it's not listed there oh uh, they do do it I've been, I've been in touch okay. yeah and, and you can obviously you can pay people to do it for you but yeah. you know what I've been doing sort of this stuff for 10 years yeah. so I'm just gonna and in fact what I'll do is I'm gonna do a um, an episode where I literally follow me step by step yeah. and then show even me doing the you know switching the ribbon cables and doing the soldering and all that stuff because that way someone can follow it and do their own car yeah, and yeah. save a bit of cash so yeah with all the um, bits and pieces you did on my car when you said you had it did it was there anything a problem any no. pain no it's just, it's just much newer isn't it it's everything <coughs> you know because obviously the exhaust had been replaced already. Yeah. So those bolts were only, I mean... They've barely been out of the wet, and yeah, they're a couple it, of years old at most, exactly. so... But even if the guy had put that valve exhaust on from new, you know, those bolts were only seven years old. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. What, what I found... Did so you plus gas any of it, or did you just go No, I didn't it. need to, no, it's no, just right. the old... Just the part, yeah, there's no problem. But even on here, it looks like the pump's been replaced at some point. Okay. Because I've, I've had a, you know, because I'm going to do this myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So and and you can get Porsche finance with it. So I get I, look. Yeah. I get people buying through the OPCs. Like if you're a bit risk averse and you just want to make sure that that everything you get is perfect. Oh, oh this is why I hate it. And then get this from so I have to park it. So I blocked it in with the other cars. Yeah, yeah. It's like the number one. Yeah, it's um, interesting. So I've been to a few events now, and I don't want this to be. It still feels like there's a bit of a hierarchy. Oh yeah, one hundred percent bothers me. Yeah, and I'm hoping that by going from a Cayman to a nine eleven, a decent nine eleven, yeah. back to a Cayman again, yeah. like there is, I've got no, I've got no skin in the game anymore. <laughs> I've had a nine eleven. Yeah, there shouldn't be. There yeah. shouldn't be. You know, hierarchy is stupid. They're cars, and as long as you get an enjoyment of it, you're passionate. That's, that should be yeah. available. Well, I, I didn't go to this Porsche meet, the Fairmont meet, when I had the Cayman. I could have gone right. twice, and I didn't. Right, right. Because I didn't want to be. You didn't want to be that guy. I didn't want to be the guy in the base in the base model of Cayman. You know, where somebody said to me, some my barber actually said to her, "Oh yeah, but this guy might be there. He's got a, he's got a Cayman GT4." Mm. And I went, yeah, because he's just spent hundred twenty thousand yeah, pounds exactly. on his, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, it's so, a, it's so yeah. much money. Yeah. The things I, in, I mean, I've been going to car meets thirty years, mm. right? so all Volkswagen meets. But you'd go there. I'd be in my Schrocker, and ninety percent of the cars would be Mark One and Mark Two doors. Of course, it will. Yeah, and they'd had, be on VSRS on the deck. I had no interest. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd yeah, go yeah. along, go, yeah, no, nice, just. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mark one got off. I'd look at the engine bay because obviously it's the same engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever engine they could put in there, is, I could put in mine. Yes. Right. So, but for their cars and aesthetically, no interest. Mm. So when we went to the fair Army the other night, you know, there's nine elevens worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. Mm. Not just hundreds of thousands of pounds. No interest. I was looking at them. Everyone's, you know, oh, wow, dribbling and yeah. And look yeah, at yeah. the interior of this. I didn't realize this. You know, they must have been fully restored. Just the leather, etc. Yeah, 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 really nice. And then there's a chap with a bright yellow 987 um, Boxster who's put speed stripes on it, it's colour coded, everything sort of yellow inside. <laughs> okay. And I was I had more interest in that to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm thinking, well, speed yellow. Mate, I, I love think, speed yellow. Yeah. I think. So, I, so well, that was your, your 911 was speed yellow. My, my, yeah, my yeah. Crow T was, yeah. yeah. And then I looked at uh, Chris Harris's old GT3 Touring and he had a speed yellow Touring. Right. And he'd wrapped it signal yellow. Um, and I think I do prefer signal yellow. It's like a deeper colour. Yeah. But you know what? My, my Carrera T, that speed yellow is is a lovely colour. It's just a fraction lighter. So, if, but if you love that, then great. It's yeah. Don't see too many uh, nine eight one boxes in yellow. There's maybe two. No, no, no. White, white's a white's pop, pretty popular. popular. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a few red. I like red as well. Yeah, Guards Rev is nice. Um, um, there, you get there's a few PCS cars knocking around. Yeah, I, I definitely yeah. after because the nine eight seven looks pretty good from a distance now because yeah. it's been machine polished and all the swell's been taken out. Yeah. However, you can still see all the deep paint defects. Yeah. Like I just think a flat color is just easier to live with. Totally. Yeah. Um, I am going to go in through and do. I mean, it looks in, just walking up to it is in great shape still. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm going to do a two stage cut using for regular stuff. Yeah, been a help to the channel. So 
Yeah. Um, I'll do a bit of a dump of that. But, um, nice but stuff. I've got Franklin G, whatever it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. really I've good stuff. stuff that, yeah. Really, really good. Every, every time Polo or the Lady Four gets scratched, just, <laughs> just get on there. A bit of Franklin on there. Nice. Just, just uh, blend the lacquer in. Yeah, good. <laughs> So, I need to sort you out some cash to start with. Um, do you mind if I grab, take a quick look around the car before we do this and then I'll yeah. we'll get yeah. sort some cash out? Yep. Let's go have a look at car. Let's go for a drive and uh, I'll talk to you a bit more about whether this was a good idea, whether this was a shocking remorse-led disaster. Uh, I've had the car a couple of extra weeks now before since I shot the, um, the collection video. Um, it's all gonna be bundled into one, but I wanted to give it a little bit more time to just figure out whether it was a decision that it was the right decision or whether it was just me getting overexcited about and wistful and rose-tinted about a car that I'd had and then lost. So that probably is a good place to start talking about what my plans are now I've got this car back. You can see from the GTS and from this car, um, like this, the sort of base Caymans are all plastic, so the door cards are all plastic, the dash is plastic, uh, there's no kind of luxury materials inside this car. And I've got two minds on whether I care about that. On the one hand, I don't. And I didn't when I bought the car, I was not bothered at all about the fact that it didn't have leather everywhere. Um, it actually felt like they made the car a little more honest and it wasn't trying to be something it's not it's just a base game and so it's you know is it the right to dress the car up on the other hand i think you know you're keeping this car forever now um what would you like it to be if you could just configure it from scratch uh what would you have chosen and, and the answer is stuff that's not available for this car um bits of gt4 bits of box to spider bits of 991.1 dot two extras and bits and pieces all the stuff that could fit in here i want lots of stuff from lots of different places so when i was thinking about how i'm gonna what i'm gonna do with this long term that's what i came down to make this car the car that you dreamt of that wasn't available isn't available you can't buy this stuff off the shelf uh, again andrew and i were talking a few minutes ago about whether um, that sounds like a good idea to him um, I initially, when I started thinking about what that meant, and I started looking at wheel options, and you know, because literally we're talking the whole lot now, um, standard car to fairly modified but OEM plus. Um, I was looking at BBS E88. So I've always loved those wheels in gold with a polished rim and an aggressive offset, not like stuck right outside the car or needing to sm start smashing arches in or anything like that, but just. Um, to give you know when you see uh, 997s, some 996s, and they've got and the GT3s I'm talking about now, and they're on E88s or LMs, and it's fairly flush fit. But they are this little arch gap. Being a white car, I think this would really suit that look. Uh, did look into it. That was one of the wheel options I looked into. Costed it up. It was about four and a half thousand pounds for the wheels. Um, the wheels, buying the wheels, wasn't the issue. It was the delivery date and the delivery date they're looking at the moment because of all the stuff going on with supply chain is middle of 2023 currently we're um, middle of 2022 did I really want to wait a year for a set of wheels no the answer is not I don't want to wait a year for a set of wheels um, then what were the options so then I looked at GT4 and box of spider wheels GT4 ran I think 11 inch wide wheels with a with a sort of similar offset fronts would have gone on fine backs would have been a problem with the PASM shocks gonna run over a bird um, yeah and, and I ignoring the width which is totally over wheeled for this car because it's a 2.7 I don't want it to look like a GT4 wannabe I don't particularly like it when I it's personal preference you guys might love it um, when someone dresses a base model or an, even an S up to look like a GT4, it's just unnecessary, there's no need for it. So that wrote those wheels off. Um, what else have we got? GTS 4 litre wheels? Great, tons of money, I think they're six and a half thousand pounds from Porsche. Um, so new, not going to find them on the 
aftermarket or available second hand or very rarely I would have thought which made it a slightly difficult thing to do um, then I found out that box to spider wheels are exactly the same and they're much more obviously because the car's a lot older there's much more likelihood of finding a second set of those so um, so without spoiling too much box to spider wheels I'm not going to say any more about the spec and colour and all that stuff all the journeys to try and get them done what else so now you can start to get a feel for actually this car's not going to stay standard it's going to be modified and principally that is what the whole plan is is to configure this car using second hand or very good aftermarket parts um, to get this car to the point where it's what I dreamed of or what I had in my head as a vision um, we're talking interior we're talking suspension package uh, brakes I don't need because again this car is a road car it's not a track car there's no point in sticking huge brakes on this does a perfectly good job of braking I've never got this fade um, there's going to be some styling and colour changes uh, and I'm going to talk you through all of those things so that's effectively pretty much wraps up what the plan is with this car now so we've gone from this car with some nice mods not even mods options so the sport techno wheels that you've seen in the early videos um, gone put back to standard um, sold jumped into a Carrera T loved the Carrera T loved what it stood for lots of flaws though that I you know just for, for me personally didn't suit um, Spires, seller's remorse when by miracle uh, as you were seeing at the start of this video back into this car and now uh, we've got a whole series coming where I will walk you through every step of this being built to the car that I really wanted whether I do that I've had two again two minds of how I'm going to do that whether I'm going to go collecting all the parts and then have them all in uh, Ren HQ and then do it over a weekend as one massive time lapse and then drive in totally standard drive out with all this stuff done or break it into lots and lots of videos and then show you each step of the way uh, so I haven't, still haven't decided what, which I'm going to do but those videos will be coming out very soon uh, but for now if you haven't if you like what this is you like the channel and you've enjoyed this video please go and give me a uh, thumbs up and like and subscribe and tell your mates and say that you know that engineering is a good channel um, it'll help the especially because we're so new it's going to really help the algorithm it's going to pop us up and you'll, you'll people start seeing it in the home pages so if you like this stuff please do make the effort to do those things it does really make a difference um, thank you all so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this uh, whether you disagree or agree or you think i'm mad uh, for, for doing what i'm doing tell me in the comments scrap it out between yourselves uh, what do you think uh, yeah and i will see you all again in the next installment of Reengineering, whether it's for Waffle, whether it's for Tech Talk, whether it's for Heritage, um, yeah, lots coming. Take care. Bye for now.